understand that uh, this uh, core of public health professions uh, are on the front lines all the time. And when you think of some of the most difficult, challenging uh, tragedies or uh, public health challenges that we've experienced over the last several decades, these are the folks uh, who've been there from the start. The United States Public Health Service was originally created as the Marine Hospital Service on July 16, 1798. Its goal was to protect the health of the nation against the invasion of disease from abroad and prevent the spread of disease within our borders. As time went on, the work of the service became increasingly important to the public health of the country. Recognizing the value of mobility and military discipline in an organization that combats epidemic diseases Congress established the Commission Corps on January 4th, 1889. Today, nearly 7,000 Commission Corps officers serve at over 20 federal agencies under the leadership of the Surgeon General and the Department of Health and Human Services. Our mission is to protect, promote, and advance the health and safety of our nation by serving in clinical, regulatory, and administrative positions nationwide. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. I do not believe that any of us would exchange places with any other people or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow from that fire can truly light the world. So, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. We're a better nation, we're a stronger nation, we're a healthier nation because we have the United States Public Health Service Commission Corps.